all right guys uh just wanted to make a short video here on uh changing this uh 2008 uh nissan titan this goes from uh 2004 all the way to 14 titan i don't know about the new ones it might be the same but i'm changing the right side catalytic converter um just for anybody that who wants to do this just kind of give you an idea of what to do uh already got it taken out as you can see uh first you want to remove your wheels on whatever side i don't know on that side it might be a differently but this particular truck is a four-wheel drive um it's a bit more things to it than a two-wheel drive it might be a little bit easy on a two-wheel drive but this is a four-wheel drive and i still was able to fairly easily get it out so i took this black cover off and then i went down under here as you can see i took this meat pipe this is the second catalytic converter for the left side as you can see i took that meat pipe off first so i can kind of give a space for uh the main catalytic converter so you can see it's supposed to be right there uh took that out dealt with the little rust issue but when i took it out it still was not coming out easily uh so i was faced with the option to either take the engine mount off and pick it up but i found that might not even work because that bracket right there is keeping it for dr from dropping properly to slide backwards like that so what i did i remove all the studs as you can see got all the studs taken out except one to help me guide it back in i left this one the second uh to the uh rear i left one stud on top that can stay there and it will still come out so you can leave that in there at least to help you guide and hold it while you're trying to start up the rest of the stud because without it it's going to be difficult to uh, get this thing started holding it in there because it's a tight space so and let me not forget before that i had to take uh because the dipstick is on this side so it's bolted here with a 10 millimeter you take that 10 millimeter off you walk the dipstick off and then you'll be able to get your exhaust out and go back the same way with a new gasket and everything um i got my new one over here so about to put it in and these aftermarket cats are smaller i don't know how that's gonna work but we're gonna see all right so that's it that's how you get this done all right